Hi, welcome to Retro Eric. Um, I was um, trying to connect an uh, external power supply to my Amstrad uh, 1640. Uh, I followed this diagram, but uh, I did. Uh, I made a mistake. I mirrored the left and right side of uh, the DIN plug, so I accidentally. Um, inserted uh, plus 5 volt DC on the ground and uh, well as you can imagine uh, the machine didn't like that so um, I had to open it up here you can uh, see the rest of the parts I cleaned them up uh, while I was at it and uh, here is the motherboard you can see the DIN input here for the power uh, it actually only needs uh, plus uh, 12 volt and plus 5 volt. It also uses 3.3, but somewhere on this board is an, uh, a device that transform uh, or creates its own 3.3 um, volt. Minus 12 and minus 5 is uh, not used, uh, well at least if you don't have any uh, ISA card that needs uh, minus 12 or minus 5. Actually, before I pull this uh, board apart, I uh, inserted... Um, uh, I used this Molex connector and actually uh, just put some, uh, some pins in the connector and uh, connected that to a power supply and uh, actually gave the motherboard uh, plus 5 volt and plus 12 volt through the Molex. So that way I figured that um, the board was alive because the machine actually started uh, up and, and worked fine. But of course I couldn't uh, let it be like that. And I'm not sure this machine is built for handling all that power going through the Molex on the way in. Anyway, um, when opening the machine, and turning the motherboard, I could see the problem right away. You see here is the, the DIN with the power in. And as we can see here from uh, pin number 3, uh, which is a ground, uh, you can see the trace here is burnt. So uh, what I'm going to do now is to just solder on um, a pin, now a wire from, uh, from this uh, connector here and to the first place it's uh, used here. So let's hope that uh, works fine. The soldering is now complete. The 5 volt plus uh, DC trace is now uh, replaced by a very thick wire and I have uh, reflowed the pins on the DIN plug and uh, since uh, I had the board open I also decided to um, replace some of the capacitors so these black capacitors are new uh, we also have some capacitors over here, but I'm not bothering to replace those uh, this time. So um, I have uh, had a quick uh, test uh, after I uh, replaced the capacitors uh, to see if it was working, and it is. So um, yeah, um, let's just uh, connect everything together and uh, try out some games. Yeah, the machine is uh, repaired. Let's uh, fire it up and uh, give you that game I promised. My Amstrad uh, 1640, very proud of it. Uh, I have installed an XT EDE card um, and uh, and that works as my hard drive, so it uh, will boot up quite fast. Uh, 
Yeah, there we are. Straight into Norton Commander. Let's go into EGA Games. And let's find Monkey Island. That's always a good uh, place to start when you want a game. The whole reason for me to uh, try this project where I destroyed the power input was uh, to get rid of noise from the sound card. But uh, uh, it's still there. Uh, maybe you can't hear it. But I can. Yes, we can conclude that uh, the machine is working once again. Very happy. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you want uh, more material like this.